All right, welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this later on. Uh, for our last deck of the day, this is another donation deck. We're calling this Naya Huatli. So building a deck around um, playing both Huatlis in our decks. We have Huatli Radiant Champion. So for Huatli Radiant Champion, we certainly want a lot of creatures. Um, you know, because we want a lot of creatures in play, so the plus one can put a bunch of loyalty counters on Huatli, or either the minus one would make one of our creatures super big, either one of those. Um, so if we need a lot of creatures in play, we could play Huatli Warrior Warrior Poet, because Huatli Warrior's Poet's ability, the zero ability, puts a 3-3 three, three green dinosaur creature token into play. So you need more creatures, there we go. We get put creatures into play, and then the creatures put loyalty on Huali. Perfect. Synergy. So we got both of those in here. Uh, to go with that, we have a whole lot of other things that can put multiple bodies. We got like Amara that can get a bunch of creatures. History Banali is usually two creatures. Hero Precinct 1. Get this thing down early. Start playing all these multicolor cards. Um, a Johnny can return the Hero Precinct 1 uh, if we need to. Um, and, you know, basically like kind of like a Selesnya Tokens deck, um, but with our Huatles. Uh, sideboard's pretty standard. We got some honor guards for the Sultai, uh, baffling end against, you know, any kind of aggro that we need. Harpooners for blue, Cinder Vines for, um, Nexus decks. Uh, Collision if we need some, get rid of some flyers. And then, and a third tribunal for just kind of catch all removal. All right, Naya Huatli. Let's give it a try. Made this deck earlier today. Um, so I have not played this one at all yet. So this is going to be the first time trying this out. See if it works. We got 22 lands in the deck to go with our... Um, to go with our four uh, flower flourish. Basically seeing like turn two hero and three lands and keeping. I guess the rest of the hand isn't actually very good. Um, that's what our draw stops are for. Clifftop retreat won't come into play untapped, so let's get that in play. Amara is like a, an amazing draw step. Get to play that, make a token. It's also going to be just really good with our March Multitudes. Perfect. Alright, I'm getting this Gruel Frenzy up. Is Spellbreaker better than Tajik? Not all of the time. Um, I think Spellbreaker plays a little bit better defense, and that was one thing that I was considering there because, um, with with us playing like the, the Planeswalkers with like the two Huatlis, like we could certainly want our three mana spell to just kind of sit back and, and be able to protect our uh, Planeswalkers, and Spellbreaker does a better job of that. But there's other times, like if we have Amara on turn two into Tajik, it's probably going to be better than Amara into Spellbreaker kind of thing. I'm not, like, real big on Night of Autumn. Um, to be honest. In this format. Uh, I was a lot bigger on it earlier whenever there was more red decks running around. I do like the, the, the haste that Spellbreaker can provide. So I can march for four and then play Tristani. March for four gets us six creatures because Amara gets us an extra creature from tapping and Hero Precinct 1 gets us an extra creature. I 
kind of crazy how Hero on turn two, Amara on turn three, March on turn four, Tristani on turn five, and they die. That's what it kind of looks like. All they need is one permanent to turn on, uh, to, to ascend, uh, get these snubbers to be 3-3s. Three Alright, let's So, 1-2-3-4. Make six creatures. I'm not doing any blocking with them because they're all lifelink. I mean, I guess I could block the bodyguard if they attack out. <laughs> nice composite character. Well, we haven't haven't played too much with the deck yet. Yo, this is the very first game, but yeah, if we if we get this curve all the time. Um, with our opponent not killing our two drops. Will probably be good for us. Oh. I could have played a, the Huatli and made... Um, I could have made one creature big, but, you know, Tristani is just the, the thing to do here. I could have had Huali have, like, infinite loyalty. Oh, our opponent's name means Spirit of Time? That's pretty cool. Zeitgeist is Spirit of Time. Yeah, they can't make any blocks that have them survive. Wait. Oh, Zietgeit. So with, without the S, Zietgeit is its own word also and has a completely different meaning. Huh. Hey, we get to play Huatli. You should surrender now. Your fate is already sealed. We'll see if our opponent takes that. that. Um, let's make something big. Lifelink, big. From the will of many, the might of one. I had to hear some voice lines for Huatli. I don't really play Huatli very often. Had to had to hear some voice lines. Mono white. Wanna play these baffling ends? What do you think, Hawkeye? You think just life's good? Come, sing the song of fame. Oh, should I put some Hualis in the sideboard? <laughs> just could have done that. Uh, Baffling End is reasonable. Everything in our deck looks perfectly fine, though. Uh, maybe we don't need a Johnny Adversary of Tyrants. Maybe Conclave Tribunal is better than Baffling End? I want to take this Legion's, take a Legion's Landing out. Or 
Unfortunately, this isn't a very good matchup for our Planeswalkers. Going down to two waddles, both. They conclave the baffling end. They get a dino. We can't have let them have dinos too, can we, Hawkeye? Hmm. If we just had a two drop, this hand would be, you know, an easy keep. If we just had any any two drop, I think we're gonna draw a two drop in the first two cards. We have a lot of two drops in the deck. I'm pretty confident in keeping this, drawing a two drop. Too expensive of a drop. Ugh. So close. Our two drop just cost three mana. Two drop was turn three. What are you doing, Amara? One one turn off. Night of Autumn is certainly a lot better in this matchup. This this is, is a matchup for Night of Autumn. So then Van turn one lava runner, turn two light of the stage. Oh no, not the Fenelish Marshal. Dang it, I was just thinking like how this Huali was gonna like be awesome and clear their board and stuff. Fenelish Marshal's annoying. Listen, you think they cheer for you? Witness my glory. Witness my fame. Yeah. Yeah, Benelish Marshal. Witness Watley's glory. You doing that too, Hawkeye? You witnessing Hu Watley's glory? Oh, they chose Healer's Hawk? Interesting. Yeah. No! Come on, opponent. Stop. Ugh. 
Hmm. Don't really like our options. Keep us a little bit more alive. The big problem is if I just block with like the the knight and Amara last turn, the healer's hawk's like gonna kill me the the next turn. Those are good draws. Harpooner is awesome against Healer's Hawk. I'm not worried about it, though. Which staple of the Eternal format do you think is reprinted in the Horizon? Um, honestly, I don't... I would, I would not be surprised if there are no legacy staples that are reprinted in Horizon. I would not be surprised whatsoever to be honest. Um, I don't think the goal of Modern Horizons is to turn Modern into Legacy. Um, even though that seems like to be the popular theme that a lot of people are, are trying to figure out, you know, stuff like Wasteland or Days or Counterspell or whatever. Um, I, I honestly don't... Yeah, like, I would take none uh, over any... Like legacy staple being printed in modern. Do I turn one flower or not? Is what I'm thinking about. I think it, I think the answer is no. Yeah, I think the answer is no for turn one flower. We want to. Be able to flourish if possible. No. The Samara was gonna be it was so valuable to us. Still. I would be yeah, I'd be surprised if Wilderness Reclamation is banded on the eleventh. I'd I would be very surprised. Um, it has like a 5 to 10% chance being banned. Maybe not even, probably not even 5%. So don't, don't count on it. Um, it would be quite surprising. All right. At this point, we don't have other lands. I guess I'm going to go ahead and flower. Doesn't look like we're, you know, we didn't draw like a bunch of lands to like be able to flourish kind of thing. Want a baffling end a Benelish Marshal? Saving it for that. They're three permanents away from ascending, so that's good for us. Well, that's two permanents right there. Just going to damage. So this is 11 right now. We can march for four and make it 15. Yeah, let's do that. Mm. 
then I can I can either Conclave Tribunal the history, or I could just get rid of the Baffling End and, and get another 3-3 three, three also. Does this thing have Trample? Does a 3-3 three, three with Trample? Um... If we take if we take the baffling end, they get a free permanent from the history for turning on the snubhorn sentries. So like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, they'll only need one more permanent. If I take the history, they don't get that free permanent. And they need two permanents to turn on snubhorn sentry. So I guess. I guess because of that I'm gonna take the history. Make it harder for them to ascend. There we go. Yep, they didn't have ascend now. I don't keep saying good game, but I don't think the game's actually over. So snub chumps the 7-7. Seven, seven. Trade, trade. Yeah, the game's not actually over, but they're just going down to two. And they are, like, forever away from ascending now. Oh, yeah, I, I definitely think Wilderness is the right. The problem, not Nexus, absolutely. You'd like Wasteland and Port in Modern for your Hate Bears deck? <laughs> it's early make Hate Bears deck better, for sure. All right. I mean, you just be able to have, I mean, you just have like, you know, you just have like legacy death and taxes at the point. All right, pretty impressive showing for Naya Huatli. The deck looked pretty good there. The deck looked good. Oh, Hawkeye's not sitting on my lap. I can move the camera back up a little bit. Oh, did I say your name? Sorry. You can come on back over here. Get hit. Knight does. Yeah, knight does. It is a knight. You know, it is good with history. That's that's true. The other thing I liked about Girl Spellbreaker, though, the trample with Huali Radiant Champion. It's kind of nice that we drew Huali Radiant Champion, but... <clears throat> that was the only thing I thought about it was that it had trample and so like if we have a lot of creatures the minus one can like buff it and make it a, a really big creature um, and you know it has trample kind of thing so that, that's the other thing I, I really liked about the spellbreaker was its synergy with the radiant champion uh, do you like warrant yeah I do like warrant I think Warrant Warden is a is a pretty good card that's doesn't see as much play as it should. Mm -hmm. So we could have we have four creatures next turn. So I tick up Huali and then we get to. Ultimate Huatli the, the next turn after that. Yeah, I think I'm going Huatli over a Johnny. Voice lines. Are you Let's gonna say something? End this foolish tale before it begins, huh? There we go. My strength is our strength. Yeah. All right. So now we get to minus eight next turn. Uh, just ultimate. Um, if they clear the board, and if we don't draw a creature, we'll just play a Johnny. Uh, minus get Amara back. I mean, I guess I do have the Adanto first fort, which also is just draw a card now. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. 
The bigger the audience, the better. Together, back on your feet. Take action. Now we're flooding out. <laughs> yeah, that's well, Crichton. You can yeah certainly watch this channel. You'll definitely get the variety of decks. Uh, I don't play, uh, you know, Esper control too much and all that kind of stuff. I guess we did have an Esper exile deck, which is like an Esper control deck. But yeah, we play some janky decks here. I like a Johnny. I like a Johnny more than July. Um, but yeah, I certainly consider July when I was putting the deck together. I had like July in like the rough build. Um, yeah, we cannot draw creatures. Draw a card. Okay, okay. Draw a card. That one's not a bad one either. Strength is born of struggle. I maybe should I maybe should have just attacked with Amara, made another life linker, and then ticked up a Johnny on the life linker. On like the two life linkers and drawn a card there. Oh yeah, Mar yeah, if we draw a March of the Multitudes, that'll be awesome. It's gonna be tough for these Gatebreaker Rams. Like we have Conclave Tribunals and stuff too. Like, you know, eight eights are big. Eight eights are pretty big. It's gonna be tough. Go on without me. No, don't don't tap Adanto. Who March? Um. Do I want a Huatli first? No. Like, basically, I'm thinking, do I want to wait till next turn where I get to untap um, before I march? Right now, march is for five. I'm going to play this Huatli first. Um. If I'm this song's hero, what does that make you? My strength is our strength. Just gonna go ahead and cast this. Gonna make make March better. Um, you know, kind of word. You know, our opponent attacks us for 18 here. It's a you know a lot of damage. I want to find Tristani. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, Um, all right, what do we have? We have six creatures in play. I need seven creatures in play for Huali's minus one. Make this like a nine nine life linker.
That card's worth playing. You definitely need to keep a green mana available. Could just march on my turn. Yeah, we got this. So let's go. Okay, so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So march for nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, nine. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so X equals nine. I'm tapping one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Chill out, deck. I really don't need more cards. I'll take a couple. Tristani would be kind of nice. We're at 31. Okay. Um. From the will of many, the might of one. Exile this thing. They have to chump block my 2121. Life Linker. Now we're technically not playing around Gates of Blaze, but you know, we're going to be fine if they Gates of Blaze. We have a million cards. We're going to be fine. <laughs> we have a Huatli emblem. Uh, and a bunch of marches and stuff. Alright, Huatli emblem was awesome. Huatli was great. Um, <laughs> that was pretty awesome to watch. Thanks, Jelly. Yeah, Vampire Heal is clutch. Yep, the lifelink. Certainly clutch. Um, Tribunal looks pretty good. And maybe Baffling End for like those... Those other things. All of our decks kind of cool though. I, I kind of want to just stay like, you know, synergistic and everything. But... Like is just the three tribunals enough removal? Do I like basically do I need baffling end for like the for the Rams? Um I'm gonna take out one of these Hawatleys. This Hawatley's just gonna make three threes. A Johnny wasn't super impressive there. Would I rather just take out an Ajani and leave in this Hawatley? I don't know, getting back the Amaro was nice. Um, that was pretty nice. Maybe Spellbreaker. Nah, Spellbreaker, cool. Nah, Planeswalkers are good. Let's get rid of a Shauna. No, Shauna's good. All of our cards are good. I'll get rid of one of the five mana Hualis. For the other Tribunal. We could get ran over by Rams. I'm not sure. It's definitely possible I should just be playing the Baffling Ends. Alright, Badonk. Take care. Uh, Cinder Vines is okay. 
you know, destroying uh, guild summits the best thing it can do. Um, but I don't think that's the game we want to play. I don't think we want to sideboard too much. You know, I think that we don't want to water down our deck, basically, is what I'm saying. We don't want to water down the synergies in our deck. Mm. Yeah, we'll, we'll draw our two drop. Just like that other time. Draw the two drop. Tilt. <laughs> uh, let's go with the... So... Probably want to get History of Benalia out on turn three. Which means I need to go White Source, White Source, which is kind of annoying with the Stomping Ground. Yeah, we're going to draw the two drop on turn three like last time. Like, here's, you know, we're definitely drawing two drop here. No, I thought for sure we were doing that. Next turn, I can Spellbreaker and Tribunal. Hero and Tribunal? What would I rather die to a Gates of Blaze? If they have Gates of Blaze, would I rather my Spellbreaker or my Hero die? I think I would rather the Spellbreaker die. So let's go Spellbreaker Tribunal. Yeah, the Ram is such a strong card. Pretty crazy how push that uncommon is. Kind of force them to have a blaze. Um, then even if they have a blaze, we get to go hero plus spellbreaker next turn. Wow. That's annoying. We do technically have enough power to be able to block this ram, though. We'll see if they want to trade. They do not. Keep this for flourish. If you know we draw March, I uh, get to do that and then flourish. All right. Well, that's maybe game. Let's see if we draw another tribunal here. Hands just kind of tough, you know. It's just it's possible they don't have you know, like they basically just have the Rams. It's like, am I supposed to play Baffling Ends just for these these Rams? You know, it's like so there's just not very many cards. I guess they do have like a good amount of card draw, so they see them a lot. Kind of with this Hawali back in. Planeswalkers are just awesome against their deck. The, pro the problem is, like, so if I do play the Baffling Ends, um, uh, 
If I do play the Baffling Ends, it's just, what What am I cutting from this deck? Am I just cutting Spellbreaker? I guess I can maybe cut Spellbreaker. Let's play two Baffling End, one Spellbreaker. We cut a landing. The first landing is good. We don't want to draw more than one. Let me do cut. A, maybe we can go down to two landings. Two landing, two spellbreaker, two baffling end. Just go the cowards, cowards way out, and just kind of play an even distribution of them. I like this hand. Let's see if we can get our mana. Definitely like Amara on the play. So, you know, we're flowering for a plains turn one with the stomping ground. So next turn we can go Plains Amara. And then we will be able to Tribunal on turn three if we need to, but probably won't need to. Yeah, I want to hit some lands to get up this Wally Warrior po Poet. Uh, I don't want that card. Wanted to draw kind of anything else. Basically anything else. Another five mana card like Huatli or Warrior Poet or Tristani. Like those would not have been good draws, but. Alright, that's good. The warrior put next turn. Something that can survive. Gates of Blaze. Yeah, no red so far, but they, they're probably just like chilling. Yeah, like they're probably like hiding the red source because then the plaza is now red kind of thing. Hmm. Do I play history also? If I play history, I have to I tap both of these one ones to tribunal. I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna give him more things to a blaze away. They don't have a counter spell, do they? Really hope they don't have a counter spell. Good. We have a million creatures, it's just this Amara that's a, that has made all of them. Go and feast. 
on their flesh. They don't necessarily seem to have a gate to blaze with their last two cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I can make enough tokens to block the, the ram and kill the ram. I think I should probably do that. I just go wide. I just take this. Sometimes like they're at 12. Destiny is wrong. All right, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wait, what if I double march? What if I march for eight? What if I march for eight and then immediately march for... So that would be nine tokens. Um, and then march for six. Seven. The old twenty spot. Fog. Untap. Gates ablaze. Or settle. Would you like to get 23 basics? <laughs> what do you think? Do you want 23 basics? Settle the wreckage? All right, Naya Huatli, 2 0. Huatlis have been pretty sweet. We made some cool dinos there. Oh, certainly good. All right. <laughs> Your cat has to settle in four lands and tap for when you try to pick it up. <laughs> He's just like, what are you doing? Okay. Match number three. I like this deck, though. This deck's pretty sweet. So far, two matches in. It's been, it's been a good deck. Uh, that game one with Radiant Champion, last match. That was the game of the night so far. Is that a thing, game of the night. Oh, you missed it, dude. Our our. Our game won this match, was, or, the, or that that last match was really sweet. We just, uh, you know, ultimated uh, Green White Huatli, um, drew a bunch of cards. They had like a couple Rams. We were down to like four. We used the minus minus one. We like marched during our turn and used the minus one on like a vampire token that had Life Link um, to give it like plus twenty. Uh, and make them chump block with a ram. It was pretty sweet. Alright, we got history into history. Into Huatli. Nice. Makes this curve even better. Looks like we're playing against Teamer Reclamation. We'll see if this is fast enough to kill him. Alec, you missed that game too when you were here. Dill. Oh, 
They're ditching syncopate. Ooh. Um. All right, they kept that card, so that's probably their fourth land that they were missing. Can we attack for lethal next turn? Huali can go minus Huali and, and give our creature plus five, plus five. So it'd be 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. They're at 13. So close. Code Junk. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for getting that sub in for the fourth month in a row. You're a rock star, Code Junk. Thank you so much. Hawkeye's all happy too. Alright, what are we doing here? They shocked in. Do they want they probably want chemistry's insight? So if I, if I tick up, have arrived. we can ultimate Huatli next turn. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to tick down. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to make it so that even if they have like a weird sweeper next turn, like a... So even if they have like some kind of weird sweeper, they'll be at enough the life total of where... Many, the might of one. Sorry, Huala, I didn't want to mean to talk over you. Where they'll, uh, where the girl spellbreaker should be able to handle it. All right, Huatli too strong. You see, uh, you can see what's going on here. We play Huatli. Our opponent concedes. It's just natural. All right, so bringing in Cinder Vines here. Um, unfortunately, I think five mana Huali may be kind of unnecessary. Or just a little too slow. Um, so I really want to keep our really aggro stuff. Oh, Hawkeye. You were sitting so good back there. The star of the show, Hawkeye Radiant Champion, or Hawkeye Warrior Poet. Um, what other two cards do I want to cut? Do I want to take out and like a Johnny and Huali? Like, do I just want to cut these Planeswalkers? I guess I kind of do. We just have to be so fast. Keeping two Planeswalkers in. We got Hawkeye Warrior Champion and the other, and then our cat, our cat Planeswalker, Hawkeye Adversary of Tyrants. I'm not a tyrant. You don't have to be an adversary of me. Alpods. All right, we'll see how these cinder vines do. Hopefully, we can draw them. Our opponent's certainly going to have a whole lot of like shocks and uh, fire. They're probably going to have like fiery cannonades. 
Um, this is interesting. It's pretty slow. Is it slow? We are good against like the one for one removal with this hand. So does Ugin come back to beat Bolas to fight a Johnny? Or does oh, or does a Johnny fight him again? Um I don't know what happens in the store with those. Not sure what happened with Ugin. Bolus is going to kill Gideon. People certainly think that some planeswalkers are going to die, and Gideon seems to be like the the one that people are pointing to. Oh, it's just like speculation from that people have said. It's not like a, a true spoiler or anything. It's just, you know, speculation that people have had on the story. Is that some some of the Gatewatch members will probably be um, getting getting killed in War of the Spark, and Gideon seems to be like the number one target. pen or something. Stop biting me. I want to see if they would have countered that uh, Legion's landing first. Cindervines is not the kind of card that's good late game. So it's the kind of card that if, you, if you're going to play, you want it down. If you're going to get it down, you're going to want it down right away. Get that out of here. No, not another one. Ooh, another one. That's annoying. Now we don't get to tribunal. I guess we're going with the hero here so that we can play like Spellbreaker and I guess we can't really play Spellbreaker, make a token and conclave tribunal next turn. This is really going to be really tough for us to win. Niv and they get to untap with Niv. That's pretty cool. I 
Yeah, this this one's over. Unfortunately. At least anticipate is put a card into your hand, so at least it's not a draw trigger. I guess that doesn't really matter that much. The draw trigger only pings me barely. I should have just conceded. We're not winning. Didn't really need to show them another tribunal. Um. This fiery cannonade is really good against my deck. I don't know if I can. Um... Hey, Cout Wolf. Welcome to the channel. It says I like the fair decks. You get to see here. Nice work. Oh, thanks, Cow Wolf. Well, thanks for that resub for the second month now. Um, there's not really a way for me to make my deck better against Fiery Cannonade too much. It's kind of unfortunate that their usually pretty crappy sweeper is actually like really good against me. That is true that the Warrior Poet Dinos are too big for Cannonade, but the thing is that you know, cost five mana before I start get to to be able to play Warrior, Poet, Dinos, and I don't think I can really wait that long. It's unfortunate that against the. It's pretty unfortunate against the Wilderness Reclamation deck is when we have our bad hands. But here we are. Okay, we got the green source for Spellbreaker next turn. And I, I am going to be doing Spellbreaker Haste. <laughs> Only 243 YouTube subscribers. Until we get to our 2,000. Nice. So yeah, if you're not following the YouTube channel, you can go get on that. Um, I'm not going to just march for one, am I? And we got... Hey, Gatsby! You're welcome. Thanks for the donation to put the deck together. Yeah, this deck is... Yeah, glad you're enjoying the deck. This deck is awesome. Thanks, Gatsby. Thanks for, for the bits. We still have a chance here. Um, in this game, we gotta hope that they don't find Wilderness Reclamation. What is going on? Did it freeze? Looks like it froze. Yeah, I think it froze. Come here, Hawkeye. Stop. What's going on? I'm trying. Here, I'm sorry, Hawkeye. Yeah, I've never seen that it freeze. Like, is this just on my opponent? Okay, no, so it's just it's just on my opponent. Uh, 
All right, so Ooze is not Wilderness Reclamation. That's good. So obviously they can double block. We will kill the Biogenic Ooze if they do that. Yeah, I was, I was a little worried there. I guess our, our opponent just wasn't resolving their thing. Maybe something came up. All right, Biogenic Ooze done. They're playing slow here. All right, down to six. If our opponent has absolutely nothing and we draw our six land for Flourish, we can have Lethal next turn. I guess they won't have absolutely nothing because they have the Biogenic Ooze activation at the very least, so never mind. Kind of seems like, what's our opponent got? I don't know if there's like a good way for me to like have like this march and, and try to play around Fiery Cannonade. Just like Fiery Cannonade being an instant is just like a, a real, real annoyance. Oh, this is really bad. Oh, no, no Tristani and Girl Spellbreaker. Never mind, we still have green mana. I was say we don't have green mana for March of the Multitudes. But no, we still have green mana. So March would resolve here for four. They kept that card on top pretty fast, which is not a good sign for us. I don't think we're winning this. Well, it's, it's also kind of forcing the opponent to have something, but I don't know. We're not. We're just not doing that good right now. Certainly assume that their cards are good. Search for cancer and everything. Please don't have cannonade. Please don't have cannonade. Come on. That's annoying. Oh, don't counter this also. Well, if they didn't counter that... 
Honestly, we would have been kind of fine if they didn't counter that. Kind of fine. Because, you know, we would get to attack with both. They have to chump the Gruul Spellbreaker with the 5-5, five five, have the ooze, like with the token, have the, the Biogenic block the Tristani. Wow, they just had everything. Just had everything. Cannonade plus the counter spell, then the Niv-Mizzet. Just, just had everything. Dang. All right, two and one. Cannonade's just like the perfect card for our March of the Multitudes, which is real unfortunate. They had everything they needed. So what turn two search for Kanta does for you, though. You know, like, that's the thing that, like, yeah, that's that's what uh, playing as Kanta on turn two. Just make sure that you have all the cards you need. Oh, nice, Jazzy. Got to see churches live. Nice. All right, well, this hand's certainly really good. Let's, let's draw some lands, but, you know, hero on two, hero on three. Um, then start playing these multicolor creatures, make a bunch of creatures. I'll make my Naya thumbnail. History Benali, you're not a land. I need lands. I guess our deck is not very good against... Or, like, this hand, sorry, is not not going to be good against Finality. So, you know, long ways away from, like, a Finality, but that's a potential... Potential problem. All right, do we get land? Tilt. This could be a crazy game. Where's our lands at? Come on, deck. So I'm going to go with Shauna Sisei's Legacy next, because Shauna's going to be just really, really large and in charge. No one knows and attack the in this Vivian. Like I do. If our opponent attacks with Spellbreaker, I could haste out a... Or sorry, if they attack with the branch water, I could haste out a Spellbreaker, but... Uh, all right, so let's go... I guess I could play Spellbreaker. And then if we draw a land, we get to Huali minus one the Spellbreaker. And give it Trample and kill this Vivian. We are going to need to kill this Vivian here. Not being a landlord. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Just not doing, don't have very uh, much real estate over here. All right, come on, land. Get this land, and have girl spellbreaker kill Vivian. Land, please. All right, there we go. Let's do it.
So 6, 79, 10. That's a 14, 14. Let's end this foolish tale before it begins. From the will of many, the might of one. I could attack them. Hmm. Attack them for 14. The next turn, another 14. Or next turn, you know, be a lot more than 14. I guess they're, they're going to send a bunch of things at Huatli, and I'm going to have to do a bunch of jump blocking and stuff. Let's just do this. Not bad for a mouse. Huatli to the rescue. All right, if we draw a green source and get to play Amara plus Shauna, six, seven, eight, would make Spellbreaker a twenty-two, twenty-two. If we draw a green source, we can have Spellbreaker be a 22-22 next turn. That's also assuming our opponent doesn't attack. They may attack. Hey, what's up, Spiral Cycle? Okay, didn't get there. Let's go... Shauna, because that thing's big. So make Spellbreaker a 1919. That's pretty From strong. The will of many, the might of one. And triple hero precinct one's kind of cool. This Hawali Radiant Champion though. How necessary is the red? I don't know. It's we need it for the red Huatli. Um, whew, going to one. Do they have a sweeper or something? Please don't have a river's rebuke. Okay, I, I don't think they. I don't think they can make enough blockers. Yeah, you you can't make enough blockers, opponent. <laughs> oh, thanks, crazy pyro. Wow, Swiftblade Vindicator would be epic there. It really would be. Double Strike Trample. When it's, it could be like that big. <laughs> oh, thanks, Nipples. Glad you're liking the vest. The Hexproof 2020 Trampler seems decent. Well, couldn't quite get it that big. It was only a 1919. Um, so, you know. Nope, no legs. No legs. Our opponents like look at their sideboard like what am I gonna do to beat Huatli? Answer nothing. Really, uh, Hero Precinct one. Uh, pretty clutch there, making so many bodies. I don't like this hand nearly as much. I kind of want to mulligan this. Yeah, I think I want to mulligan this. Hmm. Probably better, better than a random five. There's only 16 lands out of the next 53 cards. So, shouldn't see very many lands. Alright, where's the spells deck? Got any more of those spells?
I liked this one. You got any more of those? I'll take it. Surprised the opponent kept their hand where they didn't do anything on turn one or two in their, their green deck where, you know, like they have like a bunch of like land of elves and incubation druids and stuff like that. I wonder what their hand's looking like where they were like, yeah, this, this is a good hand to keep. Nothing on turn three either. Interesting. All right. My deck's helping me out, though. You know, giving me History, Spellbreaker, Tristani. It's giving me some more of those spells. That's what I'm talking about, deck. Good job. Good job. Keep those spells coming. Hmm. That's a spell. That's a spell. So they're a Prime Speaker Vanifar deck. What are they playing for removal? Maybe like some Dream Eaters? Yeah, sure. You can have Garnish Tyrant. I'm going wider than that anyway. The old Jade Light explore something to the top and then sacrifice it. I could see them sacking this Druid and getting Rex Age. It's blue green playing in the four mana slot these days. Right, Beast Whisper. Yeah, you can't you can't do anything about that order uh, like from the opponent's side. Like you have the explorer has to resolve first because you can only do this like at sorcery speed. So you have to let the explorer go first and then ac activate Vanifar. I hope they I hope that Carnage Tyrant came back on top though. I hope they drew that card. All right, so they're at three, five blockers. One, two, three, four, five. That's not going to be enough. Not enough blockers. All right. Well, they can they can turn a Beast Whisper into another Biogenic Ooze, but that's still just that doesn't give them more blockers. That's still just five blockers. Take out two creatures or two creatures. All right. Three and one. Going on to match number four. Well, I guess match number five. Win number four. Trathani's kind of bugged. It does that, like, during triggers and stuff, moves, like, your creatures move to them and their creatures move to you and, and so on. Like, the, the boards flip like that. That's a Trathani being bugged kind of thing. Uh, why can't we be on the play? I guess the opponent can be on the play if they want five cards. So if you want five cards, or if you want to be on the play, you only get five cards. There we go. Mono blue could be tough. Uh, if we don't draw lands, um, okay, not mono blue. Ugh. Yuck, grow spiral deck, good. Glad you only have five cards. Your gross spiral deck. <laughs> All right, this is looking good for us. 
They're probably like one land away from a wilderness reclamation and then killing us though. So hopefully they don't get there. Don't do it. Stop looking at your hand so much. Hooray. Should I march for one? Nah. All right, flip this. We'll play Huatli. Tick up on Huatli for now. I guess March March would have got me two creatures because the hero and the Amara. I was thinking of just the Amara. The hero would have got a creature too. If I'm this song's hero, what does that make you? That's a good question, opponent. What does that make you? My strength is our strength. See what happens? We play um, Huatli. Our opponent concedes. It's just normal. All right, we'll get these cinder vines up in here. Then I think I just kind of cut some more planeswalkers. I could see cutting March. Honestly, maybe March is too slow. Yeah, actually, we probably just don't need March. Yeah, let's do that. Let's trim some Marches. Uh, yeah, Green White Huali is, is a good fit in Selesnia Tokens. Um, yeah, I think I think it's a pretty good fit. I've, we've been really impressed with how... how uh, with the card, honestly, here. The problem is, like, Huali has, like, a, a real big downside. You know, like, there are certainly... Um, keeping this. There are certainly games, like, where you don't do anything. Um... Or, like, if you have, like, nothing on the battlefield, Huatli has, like, no text kind of thing. Like, there's there's games, like, where Huatli has no text, so, like, the downside is is real. That makes my flower a little better. What do y'all think for turn two? Cinder Vines or Amara? I'm honestly not really sure. Creature. I could save like the Cinder Vines for whenever they have the Wilderness Reclamation and just make it like a three mana thing. They could probably, they could have Negate, it's possible. But yeah, I guess I, I probably want to put a lot of pressure on them with like Amara into History into a Johnny kind of thing. And if they, if they play a creature, or if they play a Wilderness Reclamation, then we'd have the Cinder Vines. Alright, so no Reclamation. I think I should probably just blow up this as Kanta. It's either history or so I have three options. I have history. I have Cinder Vines plus Destroy Us Kanta immediately. Or I have Cinder Vines plus Legion's Landing. Um Hmm. 
Escanta just is, you know, just like a really strong card um, at fixing like their draw steps and everything. And so not allowing them to fix their draw steps uh, should slow them down. The The reason why I could play landing there and then next turn I play a Johnny, take up on two things, attack with all three, they get to block the 1-1, one, one, the, like the extra 1-1, one, one, but landing flips and then we use that extra mana, the landing flips, to blow up Cinder Vines. Um, So I could have potentially, you know, let them have one as can't a turn. Um, there, but. Crisis only being a 3-3 three, three means we get to... Uh, that one's a 4-4 four, four now. All right, if we draw an untap land, we get to flourish next turn. Uh, History Benalia comes off, we flourish. All right, good. That's not a. That's not a. Oh, they just got it. They probably have a fog, don't they? Yeah, I bet they have a fog. Fog's annoying. It is good to see you, my friend. Oh, I Deliver tap both the green sources. I guess if they have a fog, they don't get to double block Amara and kill Amara anyway. Just gotta hope they don't have another fog next turn. They have Fog or a Nexus. Stupid Hydroid Crises. Maybe some collision colossuses, and I was just taking out tribunal. Is a Johnny necessary? Johnny didn't seem like it was too necessary there. Go play baffling end to try to take the druid of the cowl also. Um, but I think I like collision colossus because that colossus could. Really help us out. I'm gonna take out the Ajani for Collision Colossus. All right, on the play. 
not too likely that we just have six six mana flourish, right? Like, should I just flower turn one? Yeah, I think I just want to flower turn one. And take a land out of the deck. Because, you know, I certainly don't want to draw land. So let's just, just get that land out of the deck. Oh, come on. Plan didn't work too well there. Still drew a land. No lands deck. We need spells. Remember, remember the other game, that other uh, game where you just gave us a bunch of spells. Yeah, spells. Let's break some spells. Love it. Breaking spells. They're at six. Spellbreaker's been looking pretty impressive here. Hill Giant. Lame. Cinder Vines. Uh, that's not bad. Maybe no fogs? No fog November? No fog? Dead? Uh, down to one. Down to one. Ah, <laughs> oh, thanks. Is that caddy? Thanks for the kind words. Is this maybe your opponent's dead? Come on, opponent, you can you can concede. Yeah, get rid of that wilderness reclamation. Do it. Get rid of wilderness reclamation. They have all of them. Cinder Vines. Cinder Vines. Cinder Vines deals the two damage. I'm gonna kill the opponent. Alright! That's a win, Hawkeye! That's a win! That's a win! We beat Wilderness Reclamation! Nexus! Yeah, we beat it. Alright, final boss time. Final boss time. Okay, I need to get my final boss emotes out. Move out of the way. Final boss emotes. All right, we're fine. You can go on up there. Final boss. Here we go. Yeah, you can have both both Huali planeswalkers in play at the same time. Probably doing this winning because of our sweet brand new sponsorship with Movement and this awesome watch. Or you can get 15% off your purchase for a new watch or sunglasses. Step up your watch sunglasses game. Get a free donation deck as well if you make a purchase with my referral link and coupon code TOTSTEVENSMTG. Yep, got that movement sponsorship. Announced it today. Um, haven't had any purchases yet, but at 10 purchases, we will be 
doing a 12 hour stream to celebrate. Of course, we're 7 out of 10 with our quip. Golgari final boss. Most likely Sultai. Can be tough. Uh, I don't need any more lands deck. We need like March of the Multitudes. Do I want to trade Hero for Land War Elf? Nah. Okay, at least not not hostage taker. That's kind of good. Our kinship be strong. Attack. Nice. All right, we'll take that. Yeah, you know, we can get that back with Amara. I was not strong enough. No, oh, but you just said be strong. Twenty-two land deck. Come on, we don't need eight of them, and twelve guards. I feel like our opponent has find finality, um, but you know, oh well. At least they don't get their jellyfish back. Nine out of 22 lands so far. There's only 13 left out of 47 cards. Not a very good chance, you know, 13 out of 47. Not a good chance that we draw a land. Oh, they had another crisis. We need to draw March of the Multitudes into Tristani or Flourish. Never mind. No. Land number 14. Fourteen out of twenty two lands. All right, honor guards. Come on in. Um, yeah, come on in. The water's fine. Do I want baffling ends? What do we want? I think this is not a matchup for Spellbreaker. I think Spellbreaker gets outclassed. I kind of feel like Baffling End may be better than Conclave Tribunal. You know, Tribunal doesn't. Tribunal gets rid of Hostage Taker, of course, um, and Vivian, but I don't really want them destroying a Conclave Tribunal. I don't really mind them destroying a Baffling End. Let's try this. Yeah, the final boss is certainly hard. As we saw there. Play first. 
keep it. Bum, 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 ba -da. Don't have 14 lands this time. <laughs> he said before he drew 12 consecutive lands. Mars, but no, Hero's better. Block, block, block. Dang, they didn't block. Yeah, why not have a wild growth blocker? Land's a good draw. So we can march and put a bunch of creatures into play, you know, kind of surprisingly. Ugh. So if I attack with my three creatures... Probably just one vampire is dying. I don't think they're blocking with Llanowar Elf. But yeah, that's how I thought they would kill. Kill the Amara, kill like one other token. So we made a token, the token died. New Amara makes another token. Come on. They better not have finality with all of this stuff. Four, six. Oh, is it three? Three. Dang it. These things have life link? No. Two, three, four, five, six. Better not have finality. Come on. Okay, good. <laughs> I was not gonna be happy. I will be the one to guide my people. Do a whole lot of damage next turn. Oh, baby. Another march? Alright, if I if I play Tristani, they get to block four things. So that means there are 10, 11, 12 creatures to get through that are all two power. Um, so it's not lethal. This is not lethal. Next turn, of course, it's it's very, very lethal. Um
if I wait in March. Uh, or if I would have marched then on tap Tristani. Let's see. Let's go. So we'll just attack them. Yeah, they have, like, the trophy. So let's see. They they block four. They block, block Amara, block Hero. Go block, block. So we don't even need to really attack with... Hero or Amara. I wonder if I should just kill Vraska. Like, that's what, you know, debating if we should just kill Vraska. Um, if we do these and they, they block the four, they take 20. And go to 12. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Relax, Arena. I'll remember this. So it's just we'll see if they have see if they have finality. Really hope really hope not. All right, they still have... I'm just going to let this resolve. I'm not going to cast March in response. They still have the mana to... Uh, to cast Finality. What? All right, getting really punished for not, you know, that's it's obviously the risk I was taking by not, you know, attacking with all um, them having a sweeper like that. Go for let's march for five. All right, pump one of these things up. From the will of many, the might of one. Attack for eight lifelink. Really hope their last card that they're holding on to is not another sweeper. All right, all right. Um, do I do that again or go for Huali Ultimate? I think I go for Huali Ultimate. My strength is our strength. Now we're, we're in a great spot with them like not attacking or anything there that last turn. Folly doesn't do anything. Jade Lights were exiled with Cry of the Carnarium. Yeah, making a token there end step.
Let your defeat be a lesson to those who come after. Wow. That is not a combo. That is not a combo. That is not a combo. Alright, I'll just keep this new first fort so we make another token and stuff. Did not even consider that. Did not did not consider that at all. Never seen the you know, never had those cards together. Maybe Got it. We got a chump lock with this Takali. Kali's hurting us. I mean, I'm just basically sitting back and waiting for them to draw a Krasis. Please attack. Just attack. Just let me let me kill this honor guard. Oh yeah, maybe I should minus one to Kali. See, I, I minus one on the other token because you know I want the lifelink kind of thing. My strength is our strength. Looks like they found a crisis. All right, so five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. They drew their mythic, we drew our mythic. Could have drawn 14 cards, Honor Guard. You meanie. From the will of many, the might of one. See if they have finality. No reason to play this Amara. You know, they, they need finality anyway. Drewski with a big time donation saying thanks to the stream. Well, thank you, Brewski. Or Drewski Brew. Sorry, Drewski. Everybody, let's get some hype in the chat for that amazing donation from Drewski Brew. Wally dies, but we now this we get the Wally emblem. Of the Time to start drawing a lot of cards. <laughs> Bucktooth Monkey. Again, the Twitch Prime sub in here as well. Comes. That is sub number 14 on the day.
One away from our next goal. Deck's not really help us out here. Kind of already drawn like all of our, you know, we've drawn all of our marches. Um, it's going to be pretty tough to win from here. I can't really afford to play Honor Guard, I don't think. I think I need to keep drawing the... Yeah, like, I need to keep drawing cards with my creatures. So I can't really play Honor Guard. Meet my newest friend. But yeah, then they just get Hostage Taker. Ugh, what a mess. I do have removal in my deck, right? Yeah, I brought in Baffling Ends. And I have the... Oh, do I not have the Tribunals? Man, it's so unfortunate. I can't play these honor guards. You should be proud to have come so far. You can still fight. Hmm. Do I want to flourish next turn or do I want to flower and make another 1-1 one, one and draw another card? Guess I probably want to flourish next turn. Yeah, we're so close to winning. No one knows the Our opponent like now has a Vivian on eight. Yeah, we had him on the ropes a few times them needing a sweeper kind of thing. I wish you only the best. Yeah, especially Sultai with Cry of the Carnarium in the sideboard. Four attackers. I honestly just don't think I have the firepower to win anymore. Left in my deck. Those can help. Hey Wagner. We are we are almost almost dead. This is our our last game. We're f find the final boss in the last league. We're down a game. Opponent's going to ultimate Vivian. Unfortunately, I think we're dead. These honor guards, surprisingly, are just like actually it is time. really bad for us how it interacts with this Huatli emblem. No, we have a, we have, don't have a clock at all. Like, they're just going to find another finality and kill our board, right? Like they have a million cards. They have to have another finality, right?
we need like a settle the wreckage. That's not in our deck. Yeah, this is a loss. There's there's nothing we can draw from here. I mean, we have to draw all of our baffling ends. We need to draw a triple baffling end uh, just to start with. And we can't even draw three baffling ends. I don't think. I took out Spellbreaker. That's the problem. If we had Spellbreaker, they could get Trample. You know, like Spellbreaker, Haste, Huatli minus it, Huatli minus it. this card this card could have made some of their creatures not be able to block man if we had more mana we need six more mana we'd be like y'all don't block and then man if basically i think i could have won this game earlier if i just didn't play my honor guard earlier um i think i could, i think i would have won this game that was something I could have done. If I would have just not played the the my first honor guard earlier before. No, Galta wouldn't fit in the deck. Yeah, we have six mana. We need a lot more. We need a lot more than six. Flourish doesn't do anything. A lot of these creatures are summoning sick. I don't I don't even have more attackers than they have blockers. I need to play like yeah, I just I just need a lot more mana. We're dead. Here. Well, if we're gonna die, we're gonna die with playing a Hiwatli. You should surrender now. Listen to Hiwatli. You should surrender now, opponent. The sweeter the victory. Well, at least the Hydro Crises can't block. It's a great game. A really close game. Forced our opponent to have like that that sweeper a couple of times and they did. Cry their carnarium in particular. What a killer. Um but a pretty awesome deck. Oh nice, we get the stupid fiery cannonade that was blowing up my tokens. Just taunting. This was an awesome deck though. It was a lot of fun. Um yeah, honestly, the Spellbreakers were really cool there in other matchups. I kind of wish I would have had it still. You know, we need, like, that Trample. You know, kind of we were missing that there in that last one. You know, like, that was a really good combo with Huatli's Minus um, against the green deck earlier. But yeah, I brought in all the Baffling Ends. We just didn't see any, even though we drew, you know, like, 40 cards. That didn't really matter. It was just our the Sweepers. Awesome deck. Uh, a lot of fun playing this one. I uh, feel like we're going to play this one again um, soon. Yeah, the Hualis did work really well together. It was pretty pretty nice. So 4-2 for Naya Hualis. With a first build at it. I liked it. Uh, it turns out, I don't know if... I guess Honor Guard was like my thing for Sultai, but it turns out that Honor Guard... 
not good against uh or not good with Huatli. Um Yeah, so I wonder if hey nerd girl, uh, are you streaming right now? Cuz if so, I'm going to send this raid over to you. Um Wonder if Wonder like what else we can do with that matchup. Like what can we do against Finality? Um I don't know, I'll have to think about it. What can we do against Finality? So that's like the, you know, that's the card that we can't really beat. I'm not, if y'all have any good ans good suggestions for finality, let me know. If you're watching this later on YouTube, let me know if you have a, a suggestion for finality. Um, we could have like the Takali Honor Guards could be something there. Um, and not much is good against Ultai. Not much. Ah, oh, dang, you're being a bum. So there we go. Uh, if you're watching this later on on YouTube, of course, don't forget to uh, hit that subscribe button. Only a couple, couple hundred subscribers away from our... Uh, for another 12-hour stream, getting to 2,000 YouTube subscribers, it'll be a 12-hour stream. Plus, uh, you know, three more people to sign up for Quip, Best Toothbrush. Unbreakable Formation, unfortunately, does not help against Finality. It still kills all your creatures. Um... If you sign up for Quip or Movement, Movement Watches, a uh, brand new um, sponsor that I'm putting on today, you get a free donation deck. If you use my referral codes um, with Movement, use the coupon code ToddStevensMTG as well um, to uh, get your 15% uh, off your purchase. So check out those. If you're watching on YouTube, they have the, have the referral links down in the info panel. Defense tower. Defense tower. That's not bad. <laughs> yeah, I am. I'm pretty brain melted. The, we had a really long stream yesterday and everything. Uh, time to end the stream tonight. <laughs>